If you're new to my channel, I'm Lori, and welcome to Lori's Book Trials. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. So I'm back. Um, I am going to, like I said, from the title, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing a book diary for my reread of Red, White, and Wild Blue. And if you guys see my um, videos that I've been doing, Light for Smutathon, and this new one that will be going up before this one, you'll know that I already started reading this, but I decided I want to do a book diary for I can talk about it and spoil it without having to worry about spoiling it. You know, in the other vlogs, so the beginning of the other vlog might be a little spoily, so just be prepared. But this one is going to be all spoily. So if you haven't read this book and you plan on reading the book, then don't watch the book diary for this one. But yeah, um, right now I'm on page 94. Already loving this. And I know I gave it six stars, but I think I love it even more than the first time I read it. <laughs> if that's possible. I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> like I just like love um, Alex and Henry, like how they start out. Now this is going to start spoily right away, so like I said, don't watch if you don't want to be spoiled. But I love how they start out with thinking they don't like each other, and then it's basically a mis, not really a misunderstanding, but it was a hard time and. Henry's life and he was kind of hating everybody it was at um, his dad I don't know how old he was but his dad passed away I think he had cancer and it was right after his dad passed away so he didn't like anybody and Alex thought that he was you know that it was just him yeah you know so it was kind of yeah so but so much stuff has happened now I didn't talk about, the, I mentioned this, but I didn't spoil it, but I'm going to spoil it in this, about the turkey. <laughs> so, there's this part where Alex, I guess his mom is pardoning the turkey, pardoning, pardoning the turkey for it doesn't get, you know, killed for um, Thanksgiving, whatever. And he decides to open his mouth and say, oh, the, the, the turkey can, the turkeys can stay with me, or the turkey, I don't know if it was more than one, and then he realizes that he doesn't like birds, he doesn't like turkeys, and he thinks this turkey is, like, out to get him and stuff like that, so he calls Henry, <laughs> that part cracked me up, and before that, one of my favorite parts before this is, and this part I did spoil in the other vlog, but it, um, I love the part where they're at, like, the cancer ward. That's when he's, um, he has to go to Henry's, you know, where Henry lives, um, to, um, for his punishment type thing because of, you know, the beginning, something happens and they, and he basically trips over the cake. Or trip almost falls and Henry tries to grab him and they stumble, they both stumble and, Alex goes into the cake, and, <laughs> yeah, because he's at um, Henry's um, sister and brother, well, soon to be brother-in-law, they weren't married at the time, but they're getting ready to get married, so, yeah, they're wedding. They love after they were married, because it was the reception, of course, but, yeah, and so that's how, what they had to do, and so they, so he's there, and he's at the cancer ward, and there's this part with the girl, and they're talking about Star Wars. I'm not going to go too much into it because, like I said, I, I spoiled that part in the other vlog. But, yeah, they're talking about, like, which Star Wars movie they like. Um, yeah. And the one girl is so cute. One of the girls that are there that has cancer, she says that she would love to be um, Princess Leia because she gets to kiss Han Solo. <laughs> Hey, that's cute. I said, yeah, that would have been me. I had such a crush on Han Solo when I was, when I was young. I still think Harrison Ford's pretty hot. <laughs> I love him. Well, I love his acting. I don't know how much I actually love him. But, yeah, I'm on page 94 now, and, yeah, I'm just loving it. Like, 
Here's part of it with the turkey. He says something like, they know, he texts Henry, they know I have robbed them of five-star accommodations to sit in a cage in my room, and the minute I turn my back, they are going to feast on my flesh. He said that because his mom was going to, like, send them to a hotel, the turkeys. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. And he's talking about something about... And he now just realized his deep-seated fear of large birds. He considered finding a couch to sleep on. But what if those demons from hell broke out of their cages and murdered each other during the night when he's supposed to be watching them? Break in. Both, tur both turkeys found dead in bedroom of something turkey parted, canceled, and disgraced. Something a satanic... Turkey ritual. Please send photos is Harry's idea of comforting response. I put, oh my gosh, this is just funny as hell. <laughs> I like this part with Alex. He's like, I mean with Henry, he's like, Alex. Voice sounds scratch, scratchy and build, bewildered across the line. Have you really rung me at three o'clock in the morning to make me listen to a turkey? <laughs> yes, obviously, Alex says. He glances at cornbread. That's what he names, named the turkey and cringes. Jesus Christ, it's like they can see into your soul. Cornbread knows my sins. Henry, cornbread knows what I have done and he is. Here to make me atone. <laughs> uh, he's just funny. Then he's talking about how he's trying to get the how they gobble and the gobble's scary and stuff like that. And he says, I'm gonna get it to gobble. And of course the turkey won't gobble. <laughs> uh, and then Henry's <laughs> tricking him about turkeys, like saying that you have to to befriend them, like get down on their knees and stuff like this. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, no, not to befriend them. How you get a turkey to gobble? That's what it is. He asks him, how do you get a turkey to gobble? And Henry says, try gobbling, gobbling and see if he gobbles back. And then he goes, are you serious? And Henry says, we hunt lo loads of wild turkey in spring. The trick is to get into the minds of the turkey. How the hell do I do that? So, Harry instructs, do as I say. You have to get quite close to the turkey, like physically. Carefully, still cuddling the phone close, Alec leans towards the wire bars. Okay, make eye, can eye contact with the turkey. Do you have it? <laughs> and then Alex is following in the instructions. And then he's like, yeah. And he says, okay, right now, hold it. Connect with the turkey. He says, befriend the turkey. And then it says, buy a summer home in, I don't know how to say this word, with the turkey. And then he says, oh, I effing hate you. <laughs> uh... And then, of course, the the turkey gets startled and screams. And Alex says, GD, did you hear that? Sorry, what, Henry said? I've been stricken death. <laughs> he says, you're such a dick. Have you ever been turkey hunting? And then he says, Alex, you can't even hunt them in Britain. <laughs> then Alex says, I hope cornbread does kill me. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. I put down... I just can't quit laughing. Just too freaking hilarious. And then he's talking about Henry's for some reason. I don't remember why he's talking about it, but he's talking about like a lot, like that he's actually gonna kill him, and he's not gonna see it coming. He was saying, and Henry says his assassins are trained in in direction dis discretion. They will come in the night and they will look like a humiliating, it will look like a humiliating accident. <laughs> Talking about like, oh, erotic, how do you say that? You know, strangulation, toilet, heart attack, Jesus. And then he says, you've been warning. And then Henry, I mean, 
not Henry. Alex, like, I thought you killed me in a more personal way. Silk pillow over my face, slow and gentle suffocation. Just you and me, sensual. <laughs> he says, uh, well, Henry coughs. Anyways, Alex says, climbing fully up onto the bed now. It doesn't matter because one of them, one of these GD turkeys is going to kill me first. I put down, oh boy, Alex and turkey talk. <laughs> And then um, Hen Henry's talking about his sister's cat. <laughs> uh, eating something of his called Jabba Cakes. Jabba Cakes. <laughs> and he's talking about like how he likes to watch the Great British Bake Off. Henry's talking about, of course. And then he's talking about how he has um, one of those, like he's doing one of those skin regimens and stuff like that, regiments. And then he's talking about how, um, and then they're back to the Bake Off and Henry's talking about how um, relaxing the music is and how everybody's so nice to one each of another. And he says, and you learn so much about different types of biscuits. <laughs> and he says, so Alex, so much. When the world seems awful, such as when you're trapped in great turkey calamity, calamity, you can put it on and vanish into biscuit land. <laughs> oh. and, then, and then he's talking about how, he was talking about Jurassic Park, Alex, for some reason. So Henry goes back, Alex... And Al says, what? He says, the turkeys are not going to Jurassic Park you. He says, you're not the bloke from Steinfeld. You're Jeff, you're Jeff Goldblum. Go to sleep. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. And then he winds up sending, he says, you sent a picture of, the, I mean, I sent the per pictures of turkeys to you, so you got to show me your animals. <laughs> so Henry shows him his, his, his animals, and then, and then he says, this is what I must endure. And then he says, good night, honestly. And I put down, too freaking funny. Love these two so much. And then, okay, so they're, uh, his mom and dad are divorced. And his dad is there for Christmas. And then he gets into a fight. They get into a fight, the mom and dad. And yeah, because he wants to like help her out in the campaign and stuff. Because she's going up for re-election and. Yeah, so um, Alex gets upset and leaves, talks to Henry, nothing major happens there. But then his sister, June, comes in and he admits to her that he's talking to Henry. And, and she's like, you made a friend, I'm so proud of you. And he says, I'm going to murder your ass, I mean murder you, stop it. He's not my friend. He's someone I like to antagonize all the time. And one time I talked to him about something real. And then she says to Alex, that's a friend. <laughs> he says, you can leave J June, go to bed. And, I, and he put, and she said, nope, tell me everything about your best friend who is royal. This is so bogey, bogey of you or bogey of you, something like that. Who would have guessed it? She says, peering over the edge of the bed at him. Oh my God, this is like those romantic comedies where the girl ha hires a male es escort to pretend to be her royal date and then fall in love with him for real. And he says, that's not what it, it what it's like at all. And I put, um, yes, that's exactly what it is like. Denial much? <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So, yeah, this book, I know a lot of, some people don't like it, but... With how funny it is and stuff. I don't know how people can't like it. It's so funny. It's so romantic. It's so sad. I mean, it has a little bit of everything in it. Like, be still my heart. Their friendships in here are so awesome. I just love this book. Everything I could possibly want. Besides, like, a murder mystery is in this book. <laughs> so, I'm really loving it. Like, oh my gosh, this is such a good book. Yes. Now, this will probably be in different parts because this is already over 14 minutes and I'm just talking about the first 94 pages. <laughs> and there is 
over 400 pages. There's like 430 pages or so, I mean 20 pages. Yeah, 419 pages actually. <gasps> Excuse me. Like, oh. Excuse me, but yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go because I need to go get dressed and wake Rob up for I could go get my hair taken care of before it gets any later in the day. But I will talk to you guys later when I get home and you guys will see what my hair looks like. It's just going to get, as long as they have, you know, spots available when I get there, this hair is going to get trimmed a little. The back, back and sides are just going to get trimmed. That's it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to trim the sides at all unless they think there's some dead ends that need to be trimmed. But otherwise, the side's going to stay the same. The back is just going to get maybe some layers if they will do it. And then the front is going to get probably like right, right here, like probably cut to the right below the eyebrow or right above the eyebrow. I'm not sure yet. And then, of course... The color is going to stay some type of a red. So, yeah. But, yeah. I will talk to you guys all later when I have something else to talk about this book. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. So, I read some more. Now, I am currently on page 112. So, they're having a party. It's like an after Christmas party, like a New Year's type almost thing that they do every year. And um, June, I think that's her name, um, Alex's sister, invited Henry to the party. And they're dancing and stuff, a little drunk. And basically, Harry grabs him and kisses him. Well, not in front of people, of course. He's out, like... Alex doesn't realize that he, or yeah, he doesn't realize that he's, well, he's bi, but he doesn't realize that, or he just tries not to, or he just, you know, glosses over it because, you know, he likes girls, so he thinks that when he feels a certain way with the guys that, you know, it was just, you know, curious kind of like thing, that everybody kind of like does it, tries it, and anyways, anyways, he kissed um, Nora, who is, um, she'd get a uh, lesbian, and, um, but they do that every year, you know, she's like his, um, plus one, I guess, you know, like, you know, whatever, but anyways, so they were kiss they, he kissed her, like they do, and then, of course, Henry is a little jealous, so he left, and then Alex went to search for him, and yeah, and he just grabbed him and kissed him. And Alex didn't object, of course. And then, of course, Henry leaves because, you know, he's kind of like, ooh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that, you know. <laughs> and he's talking to his best friend, which I just said is Nora. And because, you know, he's not sure what's going on. He don't know if he's gay or not. So he's like, well, shouldn't you tell me if I'm gay or not? And she says, he says, well, am I gay? And she said, you're, you're bi. And she's talking about how she always assumed that he knew that he was bi. Like, he's, she was like, I wouldn't have outed you, you know, to yourself like that, you know. But I thought you already knew that you were, you know. So, yeah. But it's really cute. Like, they were, like, before he kissed, before Henry kissed him, they were, like dancing like I was saying and Henry doesn't really dance and they were dancing to this one thing I don't know what it was called but it's just so funny so yeah so that's basically what happened so far so yeah now I'm finally in the hundreds but I just wanted to update you guys and let you know where I'm at in the book and what's happening so that is it for now I will talk to you guys all when I read something else later. Bye for now. In this one, of course. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you guys are having a good evening. I read some more in red, white, and royal blue. I am on page 182. So, yeah. It's really good. Oh, my gosh. So,
now his sister knows about them. I love their dimetics. I'm to the part now, one of my favorite parts in the book. <laughs> with all with all of them together. Um, Pez, Prez, or however you say his name, which is Henry's best friend. Who likes June. <laughs> Nora. And then, of course, Henry. And Alex. Those are the ones that are, like, really, like, close in friendship. But I love their friendship. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Like, there's already been a lot of, you know, making out and stuff. And BJ's. <laughs> so, I'm going to say because, you know, my door is open. So, I don't want to say anything really like sexual why the door is open but yes there have been BJ's exchanged <laughs> so but um yeah um I really just love Alex and Henry like I bet they're one of my favorite couples in a book yeah um yeah like, this is probably my favorite. Ugh. Yeah, definitely my favorite oh, couple. <laughs> yeah. I just love, like, the different things that happen in this book. I'm not going to spoil the whole entire book, but... Go lay down, dog. Go on. The dog's getting into stuff back there. Go on. Go lay down. Sorry, the dog is distracting me. <laughs> but yeah. Of course, um, June was kind of upset at first. And I also like, I think her name's B. I think that's Henry's sister's name. She has a really um, hard life. And I really don't like um, Henry's grandma. Or Henry's brother. Those ones I do not like at all. So, yeah. So, even though if I remember correctly, James, I think that's the brother's name. I'm not positive. But, uh, no, Philip. Philip is the brother's name. I think he come, tries to come around at the end. But the grandma or, or whatever she is, yeah. She's, yeah, I remember her being a witch. I did not like her. But I think it's so interesting because, like, once Alex um, realized that that he was bi, because that's what he told, that's what he said to Henry. He told Henry that, hi, I'm Alex and I'm bi or something like that when they were, like, saying what they were, what their sexuality is, sexual, how we say the word. And um, Henry, of course, is straight gay. He's not bi like Alex is so yeah but they have some really like sexy times in this book so and it's cute <laughs> like at the beginning you know Henry's the one that kissed him and then he took off and then Alex basically jumps him <laughs> like has someone like send him to like a I think it was like a some kind of a room and that's the first time they did anything together <laughs> besides kiss <laughs> so but yeah it's a really good book you guys really really good but I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll update you guys again later bye for now good evening everybody so I read a little bit more in red white and royal blue I'm on page 96 so my favorite part happened when they're at the um when they all get drunk. Um Nora, um Henry, Alex, um I forget the other ones' names. Uh Nora I said Nora. Yeah, I forget the other ones' names sometimes. But anyways, there was four of them. <laughs> I mean six of them. Six or seven, maybe there's seven. Wait, one, two, 
Three guys, three girls. Yes, six. Six of them. Okay. And a bodyguard. But anyways, got to that part. It was so funny because they were all up there like singing while they were drunk. And and the prince, whatever, uh, was that his, what he is? He's a prince, right? Yeah, Henry. He, um, <laughs> him and, uh, he's drunk and being all silly and... And this guy's always serious, very serious, before he met, met Alex, or before they started, you know, becoming an item. And, and he's all tipsy and stuff, and they go and make out, and, and he's like, you're not going to get me to dance. And then he, I mean, sing and dance, because they're at like a karaoke place. And of course he winds up singing and dancing, <laughs> just like everybody else. And it's funny. He says, I want to make a supersonic man out of you. <laughs> this book is just so hilarious. I like this part. It says, in a cocofo? I don't know how you say that word. Of shouting, kicking, and pelvic threshing, threshing and flashlights. A song blast into the guitar solo. And there's not a single person in the bar in their seat. Not when a prince of England is knee Sliding across the stage, playing passionate and somewhat erotic air guitar. <laughs> and I put a green mark there because I like that. And then Henry goes to Alex. Have I mentioned lately that you're a demon? And Alex says, yeah, yeah. Tell me again later. <laughs> And then Henry says, you know, this is not convincing me. This is not going to convince me to sing, don't you? And then it says, and then Alex says, you really think it's a good idea to present me with a challenge, sweetheart? <laughs> and it says, which this is how 30 minutes and two more rounds later, Henry is the front of a screaming crowd, abundant, abundantly butchering Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. While Nora, that's her name, the other one I couldn't think of. While Nora sings back up in B, that's, um, B is Henry's sister. Um, yeah. Let me find where it was. B throws glittery gold rose at his feet. <laughs> the other person's name, the other person likes, um, Alex's sister, Pez. His name is Pez. He's Henry's best friend, and, yeah, he really loves, he really likes Nora. Which I think is cute. Not Nora. Yeah, Nora. Wait a minute. No, Jane. Not Nora. Why am I saying Nora? Jane. I'm June. <laughs> okay, I'll get her name right eventually. June. Yeah, Pe Pez likes likes um, June. Um, Nora is the one that I was telling you that's, that's a, a lesbian. So, yeah. I love when, um, when Pez is up there singing Emotional, by, So Emotional by Whitney Houston. And at, when they first really met, um, Pez and Alex, um, Henry was saying how Pez is good at everything. So, when he's singing Call Me Blonde, he's surprised how, um, what you call it? Alex is surprised how um, how good, how flawless Pez um, Fostetto is. And then, and it says, Alex looks over in giddy awe at Henry, who laughs and shrugs. And Henry says, I told you, there's nothing he can't do. He shouts over the Nora's. And then June is talking to Nora and says, oh no, he's so hot. And Nora shouts back, I know. And she put down, I went to... Put my fingers in his. <laughs> she moans, sounding horrified. <laughs> oh boy, this book is just so funny, like cracking me up. Like I have even more. Where I read so far up to, I have even more tabs than I did the first time I read it. <laughs> I forgot a lot of these parts, so I'm really loving it. 
But I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to read any more of this tonight because I got to read some more of The Wives, which is another book I'm reading. But I might try to get back to this, at least read a couple more chapters tonight. If I do, then I'll update you. Other Otherwise, I'll update you when I get a chance to read some more. But I'm going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to read any more Red, White, or Royal Blue tonight, and I was going to start on The Wise, but I read some more of Red, White, and Royal Blue. So, we're going to talk about it. And I was, I'm drinking some wine, and I was eating some of these no-bake thingies. <laughs> what a combination, huh? Wine and no-bake. Peanut butter no-bake cookie thingies. But that's what I was in the mood for. But anyways, I am currently now on page 290-something. 292. This book is just too freaking awesome, you guys. Like, I just love the characters in this book. Like, I got a little mad at Philip. Not Philip. Why am I saying Philip? Who the heck is Philip? <laughs> I don't even know who Philip is. Oh, I know. Philip is um, the brother, I believe, of Henry. I think his name's Philip. I meant to say I got mad at Henry a little bit. Because, you know, here they are, like, having a good old time. He goes and meets um, Alex. Dad. And then... They have a good old time, and you know. Oh, first, the um, mom. I mean, he has to tell his mom about being um, that he's bisexual, and his mom has a talk to him about it. Nothing like mean or anything, but um, yeah, like you got to decide what you want, and then yeah, and all this other stuff, and then. They go, like I said, to, to the dads, to Alex's dad, and Henry meets them, and they have a freaking good time and everything. And then, all of a sudden, Henry starts getting, like, what you call it, like, thinking too much, you know, and everything, and he wants to, like, bow out of the, I mean, he, like, basically ghosts um, Alex. Doesn't talk to him for a while, and Alex finally gets so mad he goes there, and yeah, and then of course they make it, and they made up. But I cannot stand Philip. I believe that's his name, but Henry's brother. He is such a ugh, jerk. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, it's about to like everything's about to hit the fan because while Alex told his parents, well, he told his mom, his dad kind of figured it out on his own. But anyways, once that hit, um, I think now um, Henry's family is going to find out. Yeah. And there's parts that I don't like about that when they find out, because the grandma is a witch and Philip is a jerk, but Anything else I like about it. And yeah. It's just a, I just love this book so much. But this video is going to be very big. It's probably going to be at least 50 minutes. Or close to 50. Because I think it's already over 30 minutes. And I still got over 100 pages to read. And when I get towards the end. You guys are really going to get flooded. Because. Yeah the last 100. Like 100 pages are my favorite. Like my absolute favorite. There's so much stuff that goes on. Like, I will show you guys. Like, that's a little over 100 pages ago right there. Ooh, my flag's went off. But right there. And look at all those colors for just that. Yeah. And look at all the colors that I have so far marked. Yeah. And a lot of those were added on this, this reread. So, yeah. So, get ready. This could be over an hour of a book diary. 
because yeah this book is just like awesome but i'm gonna let you guys go and i think this will definitely be my last update for tonight because i'm gonna try to i'm gonna watch probably a video and then i'm probably gonna try to read the wives for about an hour and then that's probably gonna be it for the night but yeah i will talk to you guys all later bye Good evening, or, yeah, evening. <laughs> it's Monday night. I finished Red, White, and Royal Blue. Loved it just as much, if not more, than the first time I read it. Um, I know this is a book, you know, book diary, but I'm not going to talk too much about the ending since I don't want to spoil, really, the ending, because this book is so good that you don't need to be spoiled for the ending. But, oh my gosh, I just love Alex and Henry's relationship i just think they're so cute and there's just parts in here i really like really love that i really want to talk about but i don't want i know i said i was gonna that this was a book diary and that i would be spoiling stuff but i really want people to read the ending without being like the last like 100 150 pages without really getting too spoiled but i will just say at first, I wasn't sure about Henry's mom, but yay, I really like her more as, as she really starts coming into the picture, because at first, you just hear things about her, but yeah, I will say I still do not like, even at the end, I still don't like um, Philip, which is Henry's brother. Yeah, don't like him. I just think, but I love, like, the friendships in here. Or I think that's probably my favorite thing is the friendships. Like, I love um, Alex and his sister June and Nora's relationship, how close they are in friendship. And I like Pez and Henry and B, their relationship. Pez is... Pez, I think that's how you say his name. He's um, Henry's best friend, and of course, B is Henry's sister. I just love how much she has her brother's back and her histories. Some stuff that she did is kind of like, you know, comes back and comes back into play when you find out stuff that happened to even her. What? what her um, grandma did. Ugh, do not like that grandma at all. Ugh, but there's so many good quotes in here that I love. I love when, um, when Alex and um, Henry, they do a lot of texting back and forth to each other since they're in a long distance relationship. Yeah. Not even like, like, things that happen. That I don't want to talk about. <laughs> oh. But it was so good, you guys. Like, definitely, definitely, definitely still love it. Like I said, if not more than last, even more than last time. So, yeah, it's still a favorite. It would still be a favorite of the year. Of course, it won't be because I've read it before. But, you know, I mean, if I didn't read it before, it would have still stuck up still. I mean, you know, um, stayed with what I gave it the first time, which is a six star. So, yeah, it's just these friendships, and there's a lot of funny parts, and there's some sad parts, and it's just almost everything I love in a book. So, yeah. But that is it for the book diary. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think, um... What is it? When I start reading The Final Empire, I think I will do a um, book vlog for that. Or a book diary, whatever you want to call it. But that one I won't do in, in one big video like this one. I will um, do it like in two to three parts or something like that. Because I'm going to try to stay at no more than 50, um, 50 minutes on a um, vlog or a diary. Unless... You know, I don't have much um, footage or something, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys all have a good night, and I don't know. Like I said, as soon as I start reading the book, 
the final empire then i will I'd probably do another book excuse me book diary then so look forward to that and yeah i'm gonna let you guys go it is almost midnight and i got to um export export the one video i i just got done doing for that can go up in the morning because i'm gonna start exporting it now but i'll probably pass out before it's ready to go excuse me before it's ready to you know where you get ready to put it up on amazon i mean not amazon youtube you know so yeah so yeah so the one I just got done reading, I mean doing, probably go up sometime tomorrow, early more late morning, early afternoon, and this one will go, and then this one I will, uh, what you call it, in the morning, um, you know, um, the one I just said, export it. Tomorrow I'll export this one, and it will go up probably tomorrow night or Wednesday, so yeah, but let me know what you thought about this and let me know if you would like me to do a book diary of the final empire all right night everybody i love you guys but excuse me if you guys like this video please thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please think about subscribing hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a, another book diary goes live or goes up and yeah so, with this book, I've read a total of five books so far this month. So, I think, hopefully, I'm out of a slump. I will be reading um, Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. But I'm not going to be vlog. I mean, I'll just regular vlog that. I'm not going to do a book diary. So, But, yeah. I love you guys. I hope you guys had a great Monday, and I hope you guys have a great Tuesday and the rest of the week. And I will catch you guys later. Love you guys all as a friend. Night.